So this is the last clip for our discussion on basically mathematical in induction. Okay. So this is how thing works, right? Uh, if you want to prove uh, p p n that is p n is true for every natural number, you show the best case, and you also show the uh, inductive step. Okay. Um, so let's review that for for a bit. Okay. So um, when when we do that. So uh, to show that everything works, right? We basically uh, show p1, right? And and from p1, uh, if we prove the induct inductive step uh, that and and it's true for any k, right? So you can put one to k, and then you can get that p1 implies p2, right? You know that p2 is true is true, and then you if you repeat that again, you know that p3 is also so true and p4 and so on right because this is true for any k right um so this is this is a chain of uh uh um the chain of uh facts right now um if you look back a little bit and look at the actual uh inductive step statement here you want to prove that pk plus 1 is true right so let's look at how it's applied. So if uh, we reach s some point, so if we this move on and on until you reach p10, and you want to show that uh, p10, right? If we, we've just fixed k to be 10, so we want to show that p10 implies uh, p11, right? But this statement, uh, when we use it uh, to to form the mathematical induction proof, um, it's not going to be used alone right when when we talk about p10 we already have uh, already have shown this uh, p1 p2 have already shown that all these uh, are true right so instead of just uh, assuming just pk um, it might it might be possible to to not just assume pk right but to assume everything from the beginning right so you may not notice that uh, so in to show pk plus one instead of just use pk we can use uh, everything from one right so uh, this is this is what we call uh, uh, strong induction okay strong mathematical induction so basically if you want to show that pn is true for every natural number n so we have to show two, these two facts one is that uh, for the base case you have to show that p1 is true and then uh, in the inductive step, instead of just assuming PK, we know that um, if we apply this repeatedly, we know that not only that PK is true, right? everything from 1 to K is true. So we can assume all this okay, to prove, we can use all this to prove PK plus 1. Okay? If you use this, uh, this is called uh, the strong in mathematical induction. So if you can do this, um, then pn is true for every natural number n. So the difference is that we, we do not only assume pk, we assume everything from the beginning. Okay, so let's look at an example that, that use this kind of proof. So we want to show that for any integer n greater than or equal to, to 4, you can use only 2 baht coins and 3 baht coins to obtain exactly n baht. So let's look at that for a bit. So if n is 4, you can use two baht coins, right? two of two baht coins. So if n is five, you can use three plus two, right? If n is six, then you can use two three baht coins. If it's seven, what you, can you do? You probably need one three baht plus two plus two, right? So you want to prove that this is true for every n at least four, okay? So we prove by strong induction on n. So again, we w would start with the base case. So we the base case is not one this time because we start from n is at least four. So the base case will be four, right? So so we use we say uh, for n equals so we can use two two baht coins. Right. But we not only we do that. So we 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 will we'll do a little bit more. So we show that uh, for n equals five, we can use uh, one two baht. And one three bar to get five. The reason why we need to show for n equals five will become clear in in a minute. Okay. 
Now for the inductive step. Okay, so we assume that k is at least five. Okay, so we need four and five here somehow. You see later. Um, for any fixed k, uh, for any uh, uh, assume that for any k, uh, we can obtain exactly k bar uh, l bar, where l is uh, for for any l from four to k, right? So instead of just say that you can for for k, you can use two bar and three bar coins to obtain k bar. Okay, we show that we assume that we assume more than that. So not only that we can obtain k bar, right? We can obtain any l bar from where l is at least four or up to k using this uh, two bar and three bar coins. So this is where a strong induction comes in. Okay. All right. So if we can do this, uh, we want to show. So as in previously, we want to show that uh, we can obtain the set of for k plus one bar, so this is like we assume p four, p five, up to p k, and we want to show that this implies p k plus one. Okay, okay. How can we do that? So basically, uh, so since k k is at least five, right? So we know that k minus 1 so if you if you can do k that's probably not going to be good enough but if we can do k minus 1 right so if you ca can do k minus 1 um, we can just add 2 baht coin to this set and obtain k plus 1 right but this is crucial okay S why, why, why can we do k minus 1 Okay, because uh, now k because k is at least five, and k minus one is at least four, and and this assumption say that uh, we can obtain exactly l bar for l is at least four, right, up to k. So you can do that from the induct induction hypothesis here. So therefore, if you can do k k minus one bar, you can just add you can just add. Uh, if you can do that, then you can just add additional two bar coin to the set. Okay, so you have a set of k minus one, so you add two bar coin with it. Okay, and then you can obtain k plus one. Okay, now with this we can obtain uh, k plus one bar using only two bar and three bar coins. Okay, because we only add uh, two bar coin here. Okay. And and again, this is important. Okay, don't don't don't, don't miss this. All right. If you can say this, then from the principle of strong mathematical induction, we conclude that the theorem is true. All right. So um, is uh, can we can we prove the previous theorem without using strong induction? So is strong induction more powerful than the standard mathematical indu induction that we we discussed before? Um, can we do that? Can you guess? So basically, you can, and you can even prove this statement without. If you have a uh, two baht coin, three baht coins, you can even prove pretty easily prove that you can do that without using induction at all. Okay, you see more example using uh, some other different sets of coins, and it might be harder to prove directly, but. Uh, but um, you can, if you can prove that p n is true for all natural number n with strong induction, you can uh, always prove it with mathematical induction. Okay, we we'll discussed that a little bit. Uh, we we'll, we we'll do that in class. So the hint is that uh, instead of if you require a strong induction to prove p n, you can let q n be this and use basic uh, standard induction to prove p n. Alright, so that's it. Uh, we'll d we'll I'll see you on, on Thursday. We'll do some more exercise. Thank you.